What's going on? I'm going to show you how to download Halo Online after the recent takedown slash ban on the downloads of the actual online browser. You can still download it, but it's not direct and it's a bit complicated. Uh, it took me a bit to find out how to do it. So I'm going to make it all simple to show you how to do it. So, you've seen the recent Halos just come out 6.0, massive update. It's all good. It is very good. I've played it already. It's ridiculous the amount of stuff that's been added by a modder, a modding team nonetheless, which is um, El Dorado. So obviously if you type in Halo Online into Google, it will come up on the top search. But because of the recent update uh, with Microsoft not liking them publishing their things, they've requested them to take down the downloads. And obviously that's happened. So now you can't download Hill Online directly. But what you can do is if you type in this, I'll have it in the description. I'm not going to link it directly just in case they want me to take it down. It was a bit more awkward. But I'm just going to link, put this in the description, copy and paste it into Google. You can literally paste search for it. First thing you'll come up with, with it with your favourite torrent insight. And um, download it. And then get the Eldorado updater, which is from this. Just download that. And then once all you've got all that, I'll show you how to do right. it. So, you download it got the halo little thing here and this one first thing you want to do make a folder for it so i have a halo folder here put them both into it and then it's going to take a while but what you want to do is extract this one and then extract this one obviously you want to finish the folder i'll get back to you when it's done So it's done. Uh, the confusing bit people get confused with is they go in here and try and run the game, and it doesn't work. Because uh, they try and run the installer, it doesn't work. It says, oh, you need to update it, or oh, reinstall the game. So what you need to do is grab these two, these two folders here, and put them into this folder. Once they're in here, you don't even need to run that. You can just update, and it'll find it. Text in the version. Just scans the folder that it's in. This takes a while as well. But now, so it takes the new version, the 1.0 version, and it's going to update it to the Eldorado version, the new version, the one that you can't download anymore. So it's basically a quick, easy way to get around it. There wasn't any tutorials online that I could find at this current moment of me recording, but I'm sure there's going to be plenty soon. All right, just quick update video to get anyone who wants to play Halo online play it because it's a fucking amazing game but basically what i've done is because i can't be bothered going to uh, all my folders just to get here right click uh where is it create shortcut and i dragged it onto the desktop so now i have two instances of halo on my pc halo. this one's the one i've been playing on and this one's my fresh one I'm going to play a, well, I'm going to load into a game, just to show you it is actually working. And I'm going to put in the description uh, the guide that the Eldorado have made. Because like, all the controls are not exactly said, other than this, the very first start menu here, where it says, let's go. And then the menu controls at the top. But uh, things like settings and... See, I'm in the UK and there's quite a few people on the plane. I'm in 
this on the new instance, so I've not actually set up anything on this one. But uh, you can't edit your character to anything, I th believe, uh, that Halo would allow you to edit beforehand. Because I'm using a custom, obviously, voice detector slash audio device, and uh, picking up that, <laughs> the, the menu is amazing to what you can do. You can win window mode, you can change the resolution, up to, fucking, <laughs> up to a ridiculous, it's, it's Halo 3, Halo 3, back again, it's amazing really. <laughs> 